Hello, welcome to Digital Learning. I'm Connie Colosi, the Director of Media Text and Digital Learning. In our show today, we are going to be learning more about Sway, which is one of the uh, items on your waffle in your Office 365. And I have here Kelly Dorsey. Hi. Hey, Kelly. So um, you've been going around the county talking to a lot of people about Sway. And recently, you visited Gulfport Elementary. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about that. Some of the teachers uh, wanted to introduce the students to Sway. So I went out there and um, taught the students Sway, and they practiced on their iPads, and it was a really great um, experience. So this is something that any teacher right now can access, and just show us real quickly how, how they can get there. Absolutely. So all teachers and students really um, any staff member in the district with a PCSB email can has, has access to Sway. So they're going to access it through their O365 account, which there are a few different ways to get to, but one being to go to o365.pcsb.org, and they're going to go ahead and log in. So for teachers, students, really anyone in the county, it's always going to be a work or school account because this is something that the, the district purchased. So they're going to click work or school account. And they're going to log in. So teachers, just their PCS username and password. And students will be their R2.D2 and their S. Dot. So once they get into their Office 365 account, and this can be accessed through any device that connects to the internet, so cell phone, computer, tablet, anything like that. One of their available online apps or applications is Sway. So here it is. We'll just go ahead and click that. And so you know where to go from there. <laughs> uh, you are um, uh, able to come out and work with schools and show, and which is exactly what you did at Gulfport. Absolutely. And we're not going to have time today to show the mm -hmm. lesson, but we may show that on another day. Mm -hmm. But um, after you worked with the kids and taught the class, you mm -hmm. had a chance to um, ask the kids what they thought about using Sway. It was so exciting to just hear their questions. Um, they're so tech savvy already. And um, you know the questions they were asking were just so spot on. And I was just like, wow, you guys are so smart. So we want to take a minute to kind of show um, the questions from the students because they were just so great. All right, and so what grade level are these students? So these students are third and fourth, okay. um, the sp these specific ones um, at Gulfport Montessori Elementary. And um, they were learning lots of things. Um, we did, I showed them how to do a sway on animal adaptations because that was something they recently covered in science. Um, and they were also doing some things with the solar system, and so the teacher had them use that as their topic for their sway that day. Well, let's see what um, the kids had to say. But yeah, before <laughs> they started, they had some really great mm -hmm. questions. So, okay. does it all does um it also mean that you have to do the exact keep it like um like this also with your phone? Um, good like question. Works? Really good question. So, um, do you have to hold it like this with your phone? I'm not sure, but what I would do is if you're trying it with your phone and you have it like this, and you see all of these tabs here, you see cards, design, layout, remix, you see all of this, then you're fine. If some of those are missing, turn it and see if they all appear. So, good question. You'll have to um, try that out and let me know. Okay. Okay? Question? Um, what if you want to make a new sway? Can you just click create new? Perfect. Yep, exactly. So, if you want to make a new one, you can make as many sways as you want. This is your account. Um, you'll just create new and then all your sways that you make, so I've made six so far, will be here. Question? How do you delete them? Good question. How do you delete them? So if you notice these three little dots right here, I call them Skittles because I'm always hungry, but mm -hmm. um, you can just click on those and you have some different options and one of the options is to delete and that's how you can get rid of it. And I think there were two more questions here and here. Um, like, do you have to use the school account? Like, um, because isn't there going to be, like, tons of, and tons of sways there? Um, it's your account through school. 
So make sure that when you are doing your sways, you know, it's, it's something that you'd be comfortable with your teacher seeing because she can see all the sways that you make. Um, but you can make as many sways as you want and it won't fill up and um, it won't fill up anyone else's because it's your, this is your separate sway that no one else has. Good questions, you guys. All right, last question. On my computer, I have Windows 10. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys are so smart. Um, you're absolutely right. So he just said that with his computer and with new computers, and actually in school, probably sometime next school year, you guys will all have Windows 10. And that comes with Sway. So if you have that on your computer, um, or when you get it... It takes a while to download. Okay. In it's a little bit difficult. Actually, and, and let me share something with you um, because you guys are just asking such good questions. And then, we'll, then we'll be done. Then we'll go back to our seats and get started. But I just want to share, because today we're kind of just talking about Sway, but really quick because you're asking such smart questions. When you're at home, you can do this. You'll have all of these online apps available to you. Um, but when you, when you first log in to this main page, See this little button here that says install Office 2016? With what your school bought you, you get to install this at home for free on up to five devices, five computers or five um, devices that you have. So you have these no matter what because they're online, right? You can go online on your cell phone, on your iPad, right? But if you have a computer and you want to download these also, you're going to be able to do more things with the downloaded version. You can download it. So just tell your parents when you get home, if you, if you, or you know, whoever you live with, hey, we get this for free. We can download this also on our, on our computers at home. So you were in the classroom of Lisa Neal, and she teaches third and fourth grade students. Yes. Um, what were her thoughts on this? Um, she absolutely loved it. She, you know, the, uh, the teachers, her included, are, are, are looking for new things that they can utilize their technology. So different things that you can do on the iPads or whatever technology you have in the classroom. So she was really excited about Sway. Her, she was used to doing tech techy stuff with her kids so they they had most of them have already used PowerPoint and they were kind of you know used to that so this was just something new and exciting that they could do their presentations and their reports on so she was really excited so we have a little clip of her yes, talking so let's, we do. let's hear from her okay I think it's great because it gives um, the chance for the kids to have some individualized instruction so they can kind of do a presentation based on where they are um, as well as we have technology. We'll have computers. We have iPads. Mm -hmm. I have Nooks. Um, we don't always know what to do with them. So having Sway kind of opens up a big opportunity to what do I do with these iPads that are sitting there. And there's every subject. They can do a presentation. They can do a math presentation. They could be teaching each other with it. Um, I, I just think it's fantastic. Plus, they're faster than I am at, at figuring out, you know, how to use something, new technology. So I would expect in a week they'll be geniuses and give me ideas to <laughs> what I can do with it. Uh, most of the classes done PowerPoints before, so it looks like it's similar, but it actually has a lot more opportunity to them to put their own kind of twist and design into it. I also um, just noticed from that presentation that it's searching for pictures for them. So I think it's going to be faster as well as a little more interesting. PowerPoints tend to get stale and they all look the same. So I think with Sway it's going to be a lot more varied and they'll probably enjoy doing it a lot more. I know I'll enjoy looking at them more. So Ms. Neal brings up a good point. Um, you know, our thinking is, well, wow, technology. We want to have technology. And then mm -hmm. the question is, what do we do with it? Right. And so um, Sway gives us an opportunity to mm -hmm. really, um, it, it, it's not, um, it's not a program, it's not feeding them, it's the students' creativity mm -hmm. generating. Right, absolutely. And there's so many different things you can have students um, make sways on. So it lends itself to pretty much anything you're teaching, you could have them create a sway, you know, and, and it's very creative and it's very, um, it's a great, uh, it's a great tool. So you're talking about adaptations in science, but then again, um, to create this way, they're going to be using all of their language arts skills um, as as well as their science skills, possibly even math. Absolutely. So what did the kids think about it? They loved it. So <laughs> we asked, they loved it so much that we asked a few of them, hey, what, did, what do you like about Sway? And um, we're going to take a look at what they said. Okay. 
I like Sway because it allows me to personalize what I do more than PowerPoint. Oh. Because what? PowerPoint was just text and you could add images and you couldn't really do much else. Okay. So I really like that about Sway. What does Sway allow you to add? Sway allows us to add videos. Okay. Well, I bet there was probably a way to add videos in PowerPoint, but it was just a little bit more difficult, and it w I didn't know how to do it very easily. So do you feel like Sway is a little bit more um, user-friendly and, yes. and easy to kind of use yes. and create really neat-looking presentations? I like Sway because, like, it gives me a chance to, like, I get to make it, and then I get to show my teacher, and then, then she can say, like, oh, that's perfect, and, like, I really like it. How can you share it with your teacher? Um, you can, like, email it to her. Great. That's exciting, isn't it? Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. What I liked about Sway is that um, it's fun to do, and you can email your teacher, and, like, she can say, she can give good comments about it. Okay. And you can do it at home too, right? Yes. You think that you're gonna do 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 some sways at home? Yes. Maybe on what do you have at home? A cell phone or anything? Computer and a, a tablet. Oh wow! And you can do it on a computer and a tablet, right? Yes. Great. I like writing about reptiles, and I like reptiles. So maybe when I like want to write about something, I could go on a sway and write about stuff. I feel like I could use it to do articles and essays and make it unique um, the way I want to do them and just personalize them. Those children are precious. It was the, be I lo it was the best, everything, the whole day. It was and awesome. so, they were awesome. Um, if another teacher out there might see us, how might you, how, how could they uh, get started if they wanted your help in doing it? Um, so they can absolutely reach out to um, Sarah Trulson. She's our program coordinator, so Trulson S at PCSB.org. And um, she can um, get with one of us, and we're happy to come out there. And, um, you know, whether it's during, you know, a staff training, a PLC, we love coming out just like at Golf Board and going into the classrooms and, you know, introducing the students, teaching them sway and, and having them try. So really anything like that. Um, there's also some options for teachers that want to learn more about sway online. So Microsoft actually offers free courses on sway. If you just kind of Google Microsoft sway course, you can find um, actually well, and we're not going to have time to go oh, there today. Okay. Well, you can <laughs> find some free stuff out there free on stuff. Sway. And um, actually within Sway, um, you can log in as a teacher, and there's some tutorials created by Microsoft right within Sway um, to teach you how to make lots of different types of presentations. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to be talking with our Title I folks about the Connect for Success program. Stay tuned. <laughs> 